guys, Arina Matcha here. In my last two videos, I discussed my writing and publishing process for my debut young adult novel, Every Last Psycho. In today's video, I'm going to discuss my writing process for my contemporary young adult fiction novel, Anne. is going to delve into how I came up with Anne. As the story behind the story is a pretty interesting one. I was nine and my mum and my brother were going somewhere. I, I have absolutely no idea where because I was nine. But I turned around and I saw this girl wearing a long black coat and she had a bun on the top of her head and cane rows. She looked very calm, very kind of solemn, and I kept envisioning her going to a funeral for some reason, I guess because she was wearing black. The name Anne came into my head, I guess because it's quite a simple, quite a drawn out name. And then I imagined that her dad had killed her mum. <laughs> yeah, from murderous psychopath to domestic violence, I clearly have a messed up imagination. <laughs> a big fan of Jacqueline Wilson books as a kid. Why don't you think I'm the girl who has so many Jacqueline Wilson books? Jacqueline Wilson mainly writes about troubled family issues, so things like domestic violence, mental health, and divorce, those are the kind of topics she covered, and this was a big influence on me for my young adult fiction. In the published novel, Anne also has a love interest called Karen. And in my earlier version, Karen was actually a bully who picked on Anne while she was at boarding school. In the book, Anne does get bullied, but this is by Karen's friend. And Karen later becomes Anne's girlfriend. The story of domestic violence and bullying was obviously too much for a nine-year-old to write, so I put the book aside and I left it until 2015, when I was in sick form doing my A-levels. I started drafting it out on my computer, writing several chapters and rewriting them in 2016 and 2017. I had a friend read some of what I'd written. She also read drafts of Every Last Psycho and she gave me feedback on it, which is obviously really important. I actually dedicated Every Last Psycho to her. I didn't look at Anne for about a year and I came back to it in 2018 after publishing my poetry book, Art is a Waste of Time. I actually wrote a different book in 2018, which I'm hoping to get a literary agent for this year. I was originally going to publish that as a novella, but after getting some writing advice, I decided that it was best to just focus on contemporary realistic fiction, which is my favorite genre to read. So I looked over the 50,000 words that I initially had for Anne, I redrafted and added some more until I had an 85,000 word book. It was really important to me to incorporate a lesbian protagonist in this book because I think that even though I'm not LGBT+, having that representation embedded in a novel is really essential to remind people that we live in a diverse world with people from various backgrounds. I think that diversity in fiction is really important as long as it isn't preachy and is embedded into the novel. I also don't think that it should be done just for the sake of it, it has to make narrative sense. This book is not at all based on me, although I did experience bullying as a child, as I'm sure a lot of people do. I think it's really important to highlight these kinds of stories, so if you want to check out Anne, please click the links below. In the next video, I'm going to be discussing the publishing process that I did for Anne during 2019, so stay tuned for that. That's great!